Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another interesting and beneficial video that will improvise your scores. I am IELTS PTE coach Jackson and once again in this video I will try to focus on some insights that will help you to gain maximum scores from one of the question items for your competitive exam. Let's start off our journey. Today, I have decided that I will work on International English Language Testing System, that is IELTS. And the module that we are going to work today is the listening module. An interesting module. In that, I have selected a question item, which is quite simple, but yet challenging for participants in order for their scores to be improvised. The question item that we are going to work on today is labeling a map or a plan. This is a very common question item that can occur in part two of your listening module. Remember, in your listening module, there are four parts. The first part and the third part are termed as the conversational modules, wherein you can listen to people interacting among themselves. Based on that, you will be asked a set of questions and you need to answer those questions. However, section two, that is part two and part four, are termed as the monologues, wherein you will listen to one speaker providing you the instructions. Based on that, you need to answer the questions given to you. That's wherein labeling a map or a plan holds its identity, especially this is a social context and hence this question item if appeared, will be definitely in part two of your listening module. Why? Because in part two of your listening module, you have a social context wherein a speaker is providing you directions on a particular map or a diagram. Whereas part four monologue is generally a lecture. Hence, it is not common in part four. Okay, so please remember part two will be interesting if you get this question item because you can score full points in it. Let's see how we can work on it. As the term suggests you, labeling a map or a plan generally means you will be provided a diagram and you need to put in the labels as you listen to the audio. Remember, there are no transcripts provided to you. You are entirely dependent on the audio. Hence, it is vital that you pay attention to each and every information provided by the speaker. As usual, the first thing that is important for you is to read the instructions and understand the word count limit. Remember, this will be in the form of completions, hence word count is one of the most important steps that will help you to score maximum. So ensure that you understand the word count limit. Secondly, as soon as you see the image, ensure that you look at it closely. Observe the entire image and not only the blanks. Remember, for the listening module, especially all the answers will flow in a sequence. As soon as you see the image, focus on the point where it shows to you the entry point or a small arrow. Even if it is not an entry point, remember they might show you an arrow. That is the place where the instructor is going to provide you the information from. Or there might be signaling words like, the reception desk, the front office desk, from where you could be expecting the speaker to give you the directions. Have a close look on the entire image. Look at where the numbers are situated that you need to label. It is not necessary that every time the numbers will be in a sequential order. You might have a number at the bottom. You might have a number at the top immediately you might have another number in another corner. The answers will come in a sequence, no problem, but the numbers might not be presented in a sequential way. So it is important that you have a close look, not only on the numbers, the labels also provided to you. 
during the time that has been provided to read the instruction and observe the image, use a pencil and start making notes on the diagram itself. Remember, this is going to be vital for you because you will be focusing on the image as you listen to the audio. Hence, you should be having some background in front of your eyes as you listen to the audio. Another important fact about this question item is that you also have to pay close attention to the words which are already labeled out. Majority of the time, these are clues that the speaker in the audio will use to give the answer for the label. So remember that. Apart from it, get acquainted with the directional language that has been used. As in, the way that we direct sometimes our friends or family members. You go straight, go around the corridor, go down the pavement, climb up the elevators, diagonally opposite to, okay? Of course, the compass direction, south, west, east, and north. Please make sure that you look at the image in these directions only. Flow in a sequential order. As a general rule for listening module, for all the paths, it is important that you start visualizing the things. This is the only way that you can predict what you are going to expect in the answers. I'm not telling you to assume, but start predicting based on whatever information you have on your screen. If you see a general layout wherein there are general words like the engine room, the showroom, definitely if there is a blank in between that might be a generic word only rather than a specific term. Workshop, lobby, cafeteria. So you cannot expect any proper nouns coming out over there. This is the signpost languages that you have to start visualizing based on the information provided to you. In the similar way, please ensure that you do not fall into the trap of the challenges that the speaker use as distractors. Often it is observed that the speakers in the audio distract the participants by providing an initial information and then quickly correcting it back. For example, you go straight from the corridor and you take a right turn for you to see the kids library. Oh, I'm sorry. The kids library has been moved from the corridor on the basement to the first floor. So on the right side, there is nothing. Rather, you go straight and move on the, rather you go straight and on the right side, you will see a computer lab. There will be distractions like this that will occur during the part two of the labeling map. It is quite common. Hence, do not jump on your answers immediately, especially for this question item. Wait for the evaluator to complete that entire sentence. One thing, be rest assured that the evaluator is going to correct this distraction immediately after that error has been set. It will not take a while. So there are hardly three to four seconds gap that will come across to you. So please relax and fill that information accordingly. Now, in your examination, the images that can come would be like a image of a plan, example, a building. It can either be a map of a city, all right, a map of a city, or it can either be a diagram or a process flowchart. Whatever it is, you need to understand the image and follow the same strategy that I've shared with you. This question type can occur in two forms. One will be wherein they provide you the options along with the letters alphabetically. You only need to write the letter. Remember, for the paper-based test, be careful. Read the instructions carefully if they have already given the options to you and they have provided every option with an alphabet, you only need to write a letter on it. Or they might just ask you to fill in the gaps. And for that, the word count is provided. Hence, be extremely cautious, read the instructions, and then accordingly write your answers. For the computer-based test, majority of the time, you will have this in the form of alphabets that you need to put in. But also, 
the challenge can come in writing the or typing the words so you better be careful if you have you want to make a note of the words you can just make a note of it make the notes of words that you feel are the correct ones for the labels and then next you can fill it when you get the time to review it once the entire part of the audio is over you get some time to review your answer try to visualize once again what you heard based on whatever answers you have written out over there as you are aware majority of the answers if it is a layout of a city they will be in the form of nouns okay if they are in the flow chart it will be either noun or it can be a verb or it can be an adjective for that you need to observe the image carefully and a very common mistake is the spelling errors avoid spelling errors try to make a note of it when you transfer the answer read the answer to yourself follow a standard format and especially write every letter in block letters that means the entire answer in capital this will avoid lot of confusions for you so now you have got to practice and understand the various types of images over here this will in turn give you the understanding of this question i think just to a quick recap remember to read the instructions the first step that you have to do to understand in what way that you can answer followed by observing the image carefully the blanks and everything provided in and out so that you start visualizing it make yourself comfortable with all the vocabularies that are used in the directional language finally mark the words as they appear on to write quickly and revise the answers once you finish the given time period that you have to do a quick review try to recollect whatever information you have and put it up over there don't worry for your articles as long as the keyword is important you will have a provision you will have a provision of word limit that will help you to manage it but focus on the keywords once again to wind up the informative video for you remember there are three vital p's that you have to work on practice prepare and finally you perform so once again for this question i tell please practice prepare yourself the more you practice the more prepared you will be for performing during the exam i hope once again you like my video and thank you for watching till the end i'll come back to you with another video with some info sites for your purpose till then have a happy learning take care bye bye